that 76% of people who have tried charcuterie have reported that they've liked or loved it. Although there are many different ways to make a charcuterie board, it is a fine delicacy in many different countries. Charcuterie, it offers you the opportunity to dive into your inner chef and make your own masterpiece. Whether you want a light meal or you don't have much time to prepare, charcuterie is a perfect option for you. It allows you to make it with whatever ingredients you have or whatever ingredients you like. As you know, my family has charcuterie every Sunday. We're charcuterie fiends, and um, so I know my way around the board. And uh, I also use help from a book, this book, and um, using FoodNet to provide me tips and some uh, ideas for your, a charcuterie board for yourself. Today, I will give you the basics of charcuterie, how to make your own board, and um, I'm going to teach you some tips and some of the history. Alright, so in order to make a charcuterie board, you kind of have to know what it is. So the word charcuterie, it actually referred to cold, cured, or smoked meat. So it was originally a meat platter, platter but the definition has kind of changed now to include um, many. It's, it's expanded to more of a display kind of centerpiece, as you see, and it includes cheeses, meats, olives, um, vegetables, fruits, almost anything you can imagine. They don't really include... Um, just meat anymore. And um, a beautiful charcuterie board is not only a statement piece, but it can also be a time saver for you. Uh, the most important ingredient for your board is the food. So um, the type of food is really up to you, but I have some tips to get you started on your own board. Uh, this is called the 3-3-3 rule. And this helps you decide how much of each food you want and the ingredients for it. So just the 3-3-3 rule is three meats, three cheeses, and three others, whether that's uh, vegetables, fruits, or like a sweet. To give you an idea for, for the meats, meat should be around two to three ounces per person. If the meat is sliced a bit thinner, you will need some more. Uh, cheese is the opposite. Three ounces should satisfy one person. But it's a, my motto is the more the better. It's way better to put stuff away than I'm having to put more stuff on the board. Um, the best, what are some good meat choices? I like to use pepperoni, salami, and Canadian bacon, but if you want, you can also use, um, uh, pork, it's like, uh, cured dried pork. Um, for some cheese options, you, it's really good to have a variety in the, um, consistency of your cheese, not only, like, different types of cheese, so I'll give you some options and their consistency. For South cheese, I like to use brie, goat cheese, or fresh ricotta. Um, for a more firmer cheese, stick with cheddar, gouda, and manchego. For hard cheese, you can use parmesan, pork, pork vienno, romano, and asiego. Uh, so those are some good options for different cheeses and their consistency. All right, so now I will show you how to, um, how I would set up a simple board. So. Like I said, I usually like to start with um, a statement piece. As you can see, I have the dip here. So we're gonna start with um, a cheese. I'm using, this is a fine, this is a borsten. It's kind of a softer cheese. So I'm gonna put, gonna put it on this dish right here as our centerpiece. So this is, this is the cheese right here. And we're just gonna put this cheese in the middle as of as our centerpiece and then I have on a little knife for so then you can actually use this uh, cheese spread and then to go around it as a uh, one of my vegetables I have um I have peppers these are a good way to um, add some vegetables and they're really good uh, we added cream cheese and uh, you can put um like some seasonings on them it's a really good way to um get some more healthier things on your board uh, while having fun. So these I'm gonna put around, just um, displaying them really nicely. And like I said, we um, that charcuterie board has kind of simple stuff on it, but as you build your charcuterie boards, you can add whatever you want and you can make them crazier. Uh, we have special boards for holidays if it you know, happens to be on a Sunday. We like to eat them during football games, uh, while we're watching the Vikings and stuff like that. They're just really fun, and um, 
They're enjoyable and can be really easy to make. So now I put uh, the, the peppers around there. We are gonna uh, add some crackers. My choice of crackers today, I have um, some Ritz, and, and then we have these, another, they're a multi-grain hexagon type cracker. So um, I'll just, I'll open the crackers. And then I'll just lay them out. And uh, for our family, we don't put crackers on our board just because we have a, um, we have, my brother has celiac, so he can't have gluten. So that's how we figured out to, um, we figured out how to fill up our board uh, with, um, without crackers. So you can definitely do that. But um, crackers also help to like fill up your board if you don't have as many ingredients. So I'm just laying out the crackers, nothing um, too specific here. So I have my uh, Ritz here, right there, and then I'll take some of the hexagon, and I'll place some, just doing the same thing here. Like that. And then, and then uh, this is a really fun thing, I'll teach you how to do it. Uh, it's how to make meat roses. So you can use um, pepperoni or salami, and you're just gonna take a, a good stack. You can have a cup. It can be a champagne glass, a wine glass, any kind of Tupperware. And you're gonna start. You're gonna put little to no meat in at first, and you're just putting it on the on the rim. And you go all around, just keeping it in place like that. And. And then as we add more layers, we're gonna put more meat into it. So here I'm doing my first layer. Like that, there's my first layer. And then, so now you can, you kind of push down and you're gonna put the meat in between. The next layer goes in between each other. So I'll put one here, put some more. greasy we'll put another one here and like I said I'm trying to this whole time oh I'm trying to put more meat in the cup as I go so that's probably good I usually go three or four layers but for a time I'm not gonna be able to um, and then so once you have it you're gonna push push down like that and then you just go like that and there you have a uh, your little meat rose right there and you can kind of see if you take um, more layers, they look like they look better, and they look like more of the ones on these boards. But that's a simple way to do them. And then, lastly, if you have Canadian bacon, I'll teach you how to do um, a meat river. These are really simple. All you do for these, it's it's literally you, all you have to do is have a toothpick, and you um, you're folding these into fours. So halfway across and down. And then this one, halfway across and down. So you're putting them in the fours. There you got your nice meat river. And then you can fill up the rest with nuts or chocolates or sweets and berries. And that's your good charcuterie board. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see these on your Instagrams and everything. Thank you for listening to my speech.